Hey, hey, what's up, what's up? Thanks for tuning back in. Vagabond Pat here, just here for another review. So first off, let me go ahead, spark it up, and welcome to the channel. Thanks for tuning in, whether you're returning or it's your first time tuning in, greatly appreciate it. Yes, this is a rap review. What might I be talking about? I might be saying, Pat, you've done the strawberry dreams, loose leaves already. What are you doing? Is this a re-upload or something? No, look. Strawberry dream minis, baby. You know? Gotta... We'll get a good thumbnail going on. Make some faces, maybe. Like, oh, what? Is that right? Tastes nice. I have uh, a whole bunch of different strains in here. Well, not a whole bunch. But I got some blue runs in here. I got some uh, rainbow mints. Some ala mode. And um, some blueberry pancakes in here. And a little extra something, something. I put some crumble in there too, because I actually forgot I had crumble. I gotta smoke that shit. I got enough of it. <laughs> Last me forever. I forget I have it, because like I said, I don't smoke wax or crumble or resin or anything that often. I got hash from almost two years ago. <laughs> Lord. So you can't tell. More of a flower man. But yeah, loose leaf, loose leaf has released minis. Um, they are. They got paid six eighty nine out the door for this, or like six ninety nine. It was right under seven dollars, so <coughs> not a bad price. Um, they did let me know if you are a fan of the bananas, because what they had the Russian cream. The, um, I think like the natural dark, the strawberry dream, and then the banana, is it, it might be just banana dreams or bananas and cream or something like that. But yeah, the banana one, um, they said that's, if you like that, go ahead and get that because, um, I want to say the bananas are more expensive and the regular size, they're the most expensive ones, but you could get them for the same price. In the minis, they're not more expensive. You know, they're all same general price. So, if you do like the banana ones, go ahead and pick yourself up some minis because it's a better bang for your buck, I guess, in the long run, if you want the minis, you know? Because, look, you still put a lot of weed in here. And um, these are harder to roll, though, because they are smaller, you know? But I will go ahead. Oh, I should have took out a regular leaf one that I have because I do have a leaf left from the, um, from the red rum. So I should have pulled that out, but I didn't think about it. I don't have it in here. But yeah. Definitely smaller. Put it up, or I'll put the lighter to comparison, you know? So yeah, I said 689 out the door. It does taste good. It tastes like strawberry dreams. Said, I like loose leaves because they're not that harsh. The strawberry dream is a little bit harsher. Um, same with the banana because I think of the flavoring in there. But I will definitely keep uh, supporting loose leaves and keep picking up their products because you do get five good leaves in every pack. Um, unlike backwoods, you might get two if you're lucky. So if you're lucky, you get three. You know, so yeah. And also, if you're wondering, yes. I still have the van. Um, found out, though, what they do with these van transports is they'll say, yeah, okay. So say they said they'll be here on the 13th. Now, the 13th, they don't really tell you it doesn't mean the 13th. They just want you to put in um, the uh, to go with them, pretty much, you know. So they'll be like, oh, we'll give you this date. They could be a quote and everything like that. The quote isn't necessarily the quote that you're going to pay. It could go up a couple hundred dollars. And um, the time frame they give you, it's not the time frame you should abide by. 
because it's the trucking industry and with the car shipping industry, it's not the date they say because other things happen. And it's not that company that necessarily, um, so say if you go online, you go through a company and um, online, what they do is they put it out through like a dispatching thing. So if you're out there, you could go on the list and be like, oh yeah, okay, I'll go pick up this vehicle. Yeah, so it could take longer than two weeks. Who knows? If no one wants to dispatch the vehicle out to New York, then it could take forever. It might never get shipped out there. That's the that's pretty much the gist of it, but most likely it will get shipped out there. Hopefully it'll be out in a couple of days. Hopefully. But we'll see. Um you know, of course if you watch this channel before, I've said it before, plans are plan to ride the bike cross country just don't know when i was already planning to be gone but now it's all up in the air but hey, it is what it is that's the beauty of the journey that's the beauty of the trip you know that's the beauty of life you know i'm meant to be out here for a reason so maybe something will happen out here that uh the universe obviously wants me out here still it don't want me to leave barstow for some reason i'm trying to figure that reason out but we'll go ahead we'll figure that out you know But this is definitely burning nice, definitely hitting nice. You know? And um, I will uh, be smoking some of these on the road, probably. If they're still fresh, then. Because I'm not going to go pick up any new ones. Oh, yeah, I forgot this plug fell out. And I got a plug in this. Now that looks weird. Now I'm going to take this one out, huh? I just realized that, huh? Yeah, because I took a nap. And this one came out. So there we go. That's better. That's better there. But yeah, oh, I shaved the head too. Get some get ready for the ride. I'll cut off the beard soon, you know. So I still want to um take you guys a ride down Main Street, 66 in Barstow. So maybe I will do that. I still have to upload damn Spotify to my tablet. I have to get that done, you know. But so let's figure out to hop in here. Since it'll be a couple more days, since I'll get the van, I know, I know, I've uploaded a video saying this is the last smoke sesh in the van, but it's that plans always, always change, you know? But, yeah, it's been kind of crappy out here, too. It's been kind of raining a good amount. The Mojave River's flowing, which is nice. Um, been windy. Right now, the wind is kind of subtle. It has been kind of chilly out here, too been colder than it has been now towards the end of March than it has been most winter well I think uh Sunday was freezing out here I think I was like good lord you know yeah all of March I feel like it's been colder than the whole damn winter colder windier rainier <coughs> so hopefully the weather gets to uh to picking up you know and look while I'm in here show you guys a little sneak peek of something okay i'm not a painter but sometimes i like to fart around with it i do draw though and i will be uploading the um newest sketchbook review i did finish it like a week or so ago but i've just been doing other stuff and everything i said i feel like uh the channel hasn't been on par on what it should be because of trying to get ready for the trip and stuff like that so um i was stressed about it for a while but now i'm not stressed about it anymore because i'm like what the fuck am i stressing about it it is what it is you know so anyway yeah so now i'm gonna get the channel back up to par um i might not be uploading um as much within the next week or two maybe because um it's always so windy out here and i do have to do a lot of uploading outside now because i'm not trying to upload in the van and be smoking in the van all the time because they could be here any day to pick it up now so um I'll be uploading outside when it's not windy and stuff like that but it's hard to get a non-windy day out here because i don't want you guys just listening to the wind the whole time you know when i'm recording because that kind of sucks. But anyway, here we go. This is a good idiot. I forgot all about this. There was something up that gets there, so there's a little line. I did a little, uh, little like, uh, octopus tentacle, you know? Just, just a little sketchy one, you know? Kind of like it like this, though, you know? Kind of, uh, kind of looks cool like that. I'm not good with brushes or anything like that. And I am left-handed, so, like, everything that I draw, my hand goes over it. I can't, like, work this way out, you know, where my hand won't. So if I draw the tentacle, my hand has to go over the pit. So it's very, very difficult. If you're left-handed, you know what I'm saying? There is a lot of struggles, and let me tell you, I'm actually going to take a picture of that, because I actually like that a lot more now than I did years ago for some reason. And I did this, like, two years ago. 
three years ago, or so, over two years ago, almost three years ago, probably three years ago now. But anyway, yeah, so it's a pretty dope little painting. I ain't gonna lie, you know. I ain't trying to flex or nothing like that. I ain't no Picasso, but hey, you know. If anyone's interested in it, let me know. Who knows, who knows, you know. You'll probably have to pay more in shipping than I charge you for the damn painting anyway. But hey, yeah, I ain't no no, huh? <laughs> Even if you suck at something, do it. Okay. Who cares, you know? Um, almost everything that I, uh, like, uh, the drawings that I do, the videos that I make and stuff like that, it's hard not to hate them, you know? But um, once you actually put it out there and stuff like that, then, you're, then, I feel like, then I feel like you get the enjoyment out of it. You know, once you see other people like it, especially if one person likes it that you don't even know, that's like a huge accomplishment for me, you know? Like, most of my stuff, I feel like I'm... Um, the majority of uh, people that watch my videos are, are people I don't know. I know some people I do know watch my videos and stuff like that. So I great, greatly appreciate all you guys. And everyone I don't know that views it, you know? But I'm like, just think about it that way. I'm like, if you post something and it only gets 10 likes, but if seven people from all over the place saw it that would have never seen it just sitting in your damn living room, that's kind of really cool right there. That's a cool feeling, you know? Like, damn, this dude, this fucking surfer dude from Australia liked my fucking drawing. What? That's kind of dope, you know? Or this little, uh, this homebody mom that's, uh, taking care of her kids all day. She liked my painting because she's into art. That's awesome. You know what? That's cool, you know? Yeah, so that's a, that's a beautiful thing about the internet, so. If you hate something you create, because most people do, probably, I would imagine, most people are like, oh, this is trash, but upload it anyway. Um, I, and like I said, who cares if you get 5 likes, 10 likes? Who cares if you get 5 views, 10 views? Put it out there, you know? Someone will enjoy it, you know? Even if it's just one person that gets enjoyment out of it. Even if that one person hates it, you, you still give them something to do during the day, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, you still got someone talking and stuff like that, so... It's kind of crazy about the internet, if you think about it, you know? <coughs> but, we're still burning nice. So it does have that, uh that little harshness to it that's why i'm not like burning it down big big you know i can't smoke these like crazy well i do think the red rum though was honestly probably the smoothest one that i had um i wasn't expecting it to be that good um but it was really good so yeah if you haven't seen that like i said i've reviewed the banana i've reviewed the regular strawberry dream the um I think I did the all natural dark leaf. I did the um reserve black edition. Um damn I wanna say there was one more that I did too. But I, I can't remember, you know. I didn't do the honey and I didn't do the Russian cream. I think I've done every other one besides those. Which I think I mentioned every other one. But definitely a fan of them. So you could like, comment, subscribe. Uh, in the comments, let me know if you tried. Let me know your uh, your thoughts and opinions on them. You know, so it's pretty dope that they came out with minis. They also do have uh, pipe tobacco, strawberry dream flavor too. Thought about trying that out. I don't even smoke a pipe, but I thought about trying it out because I do like their uh, their leaves a lot. So, if you would like to see that review go ahead let me know maybe i'll buy a little corn pipe and i'll get some of this uh pipe tobacco from them and try that out if you'd like to see that but you know it always says perfectly cut leaves for a perfect roll every time loose leaf season two so i wonder what season two i guess season two means like the uh the minis huh it's kind of cool on the back because if you kind of look down here on the bottom there's some I like that, how they put that other strawberries there, you know, just very lightly. Like floating on a cloud, baby. It's where they need like a vanilla OG. You know, I don't know if I've ever heard of vanilla weed, in all honesty. I don't think I've ever smoked like vanilla OG or, um... 
vanilla, caramel. They, they, they might need to get on making that strain, you know? Now, it might be kind of easy to kind of do because all you do really need to do is just, when you grow the weed, maybe just put some vanilla extract in the soil. The uh, plant might absorb it, start tasting like vanilla. That'd be kind of dope. And a little weird fact about vanilla, if you don't know, it's made from a, I might be saying the name wrong, but it's like castorium or castarium, which is a secretion from a beaver's anus. And they use that secretion, it's almost like their anal glands, like dogs have anal glands. That's why when dogs drag their butts across the carpet, most likely they need their anal glands expressed, which it's, what is it, um, three o'clock and nine o'clock. And I know because I've had to express dogs anal glands for my job because I'm a vet tech and it's it's not the most pleasant thing to do. But hey, it's pretty easy though, you know, as long as they're not impacted because sometimes they're impacted and you can't squeeze them too hard. If you squeeze them too hard, you'll rupture them. Don't do it at home though. Uh, definitely go to a vet. It's usually like, I think we charge like 35 bucks to express the anal gland. You know, pretty simple most of the time. But yeah, so castarium, which I use in vanilla flavoring, comes from a beavis, a beaver's uh, anus. So hey, go look it up if you don't believe me. Because at first, I did not think it was true either. And people are like, that's disgusting. I ain't eating vanilla again. Vanilla's in almost every, vanilla's in a lot of things. You know what I'm saying? Vanilla's in a lot. And it did go out. It did go out. But there ain't no fucking vanilla weed. I don't know. Maybe I'll go research that. Because maybe there is. I'm probably wrong about that. It wouldn't surprise me if there is. Maybe it just never caught on. You know, who knows? Who knows? Said, I might be, I might actually be done with this because the strawberry is harsh. I'm not trying to destroy my lungs for the rest of the night. No, so, it's the worst part about these, is, and I'm pretty sure it's the flavoring that does it to me. Like, that's why I like the, um, the Berry Fusion Dutches. So much is because it's not like an overpowering flavor. They're not that harsh on my lungs all the time. You know, sometimes they are. But most of the time, most of the time they aren't. The flavor isn't that bad. It's not that overbearing. It's when it has an overbearing flavor. It tastes good, but it just messes up my lungs. And that's what the, unfortunately, that's what these flavors do. Eh. Loose leaf is doing its thing, you know? It definitely smells nice, too, you know? You smell it. Get that tobacco smell, but you can't take it like, <laughs> take a big whiff. <coughs> I might smell it a little too much. I don't know why we're at it, too. Just because some people still don't know. Got yourself a clipper, which everyone should know because I think it, well, it used to say on there. You know, it might say on the little sticker on there, but the flint does come out so you can pack shit. And you can replace the flint and refill the lighter if you do like the design. Very cool. And surprisingly, there's still good amount of people don't seem to know that about a clipper. They were meant to pack the joints with the raw cones and stuff like that and uh, you could refill them. I put a weed out on the bottom of this one so the uh, spout's kind of messed up. I gotta get a little, the little metal thing in there to clean it. But yeah, if you ever get a cool designed clipper and you want to keep it like 50 cents for a new thing and you can refill it forget the name of the butane i use but the butane is pretty cheap you get a bottle of it for like 
I think I got like the better the the better bottle for like five or six bucks it was for like the better butane, you know. So, but you don't have to get that one. You could get the two dollar, three dollar bottle one, you know. Yeah, but if you're watching, hopefully soon I get to take you guys on the trip. Appreciate you guys uh, clicking, viewing this video. So that like, comment, subscribe. Hopefully you're burning something down, uh, burning something down right now. Hopefully something good. Let me know what you're smoking on. Let me know if you want to see me review anything. Any wraps from any companies or anything like that. Any munchie recommendations, any strain recommendations, company recommendations, whatever. Just let me know. You know, I'll go ahead. I will try to pick it up and review it. Say, so, check out this band. You might like them. I don't care what it is, what kind of music it is, you know. I haven't listened to some, like, Indian music, because it's kind of catchy, kind of fun, like that Bollywood music. Unless there's one, uh, Driver, Driver Mamal, Mamal. Oh, such a, such a great song. I'm actually going to go listen to that after this. I haven't heard it in a while. And it's a fun video, too. But, I'll go ahead, rate this, uh. I forgot I gotta give it a rating, huh? Because there's a review on it. <coughs> we'll go ahead and we'll rate it, uh... Hmm. Give it a good 7 out of 10. The price is alright. Smoke's nice. It's been smoking 20 minutes. I've been smoking this now. A little over 20 minutes. Tastes nice. Definitely get the strawberry in it. Definitely tastes like a regular strawberry cream just a little bit smaller the price is a little bit smaller also so that's awesome but anyway hopefully within the next week we will be going on this bike ride so stay tuned <coughs> but much love thanks for all the support like comment subscribe stay positive spread the good vibes give people a chance you know the deal bag of all pat i'm out much love peace